take the lift down the declension of months to the third floor. Here we find our casualties x-rays pinned to the board. A and B roads hemorrhaged by significant showering. Where the fields were once cauterised by winter's clotting, excessive bleeding has been too much for any land to bear. These fuzzy shadows, where liquid has percolated from internal organs once discreetly tucked away, spill out a putrid mixture of mud and spittle, rupturing piddles into puddles and puddles into ponds. Then the ponds turn into lakes, and the lakes turn into seas, and beyond these, galaxies of rain in a never-ending universe of sleet. skies of March, electric lights crackle in the ether of a civilization coming into life. Only creatures once derived from ice ascend inside this holocaust. Invisible wings unfurl within each stone demanding to be thrown by children, whose bodies are compiled from the quadratic mystery of bones. Brains, when warmed by coals, confirm this march of crystal into form. The shrimp that waits for every flowering of the tide. The snake extends with digital precision the axis of its spine. Whilst out beyond the croft, the breath of fox holds steady as radar to the sound of row upon row of Brussels sprouts exploding underground. And as the waters rise from north to south, the mercury in the eye of trout has already calculated the fastest way out. Up the dual carriageway, turn left the roundabout.